Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this Imagine X Gotham City Batman playset. So as you can see, it comes in this really nice box and we get two figures in this set. We get Batman and an evil vil villain. So as you can see, as we go around it, the detail is out of this world really. The detail is spot on. As you can see here, there's just some of the features that the box shows. But the box doesn't actually show how good this playset is. But as you can go around it, you know, the detail on it is just amazing. So let's take a look at it a bit closer. So we have Batman. So we have the two figures here, which we'll take a closer look at. And the, the figures are really well detailed, really nice figures. They're about a, an inch, inch and a half high, but they're really durable. You know, they'll put up with a lot of play in. And they got some really nice detail, like Batman's got his little cape, which is really cool. Oh, Batman, stab it. He, he does that from time to time. <laughs> but yeah, the two figures are really cool. So let's look at some of the features on this playset, which is really cool. We got one feature which I really like. You can put Batman on his post there. And when you turn him, you can turn him left or right. And when you turn him, it opens the cell doors on your right hand side. And then when you turn him left, it closes the doors, which is a really nice feature on this playset. And on the door, on the doors itself, we got some evil vil villains' faces as well, which is really nice. So let's take a look at the. This is probably my favourite feature on this particular playset. So we'll have to dim in the lights and take a closer look so Batman goes on the top and as you can see you can turn him left or right and we get a really cool neon light and if you look closely on the vil villain you can see like veins like green veins showing on him which is really cool so yeah we'll take a little look at it around it without the box so in there we have Batman's little control center which is really nice and you can you can get a you know you can get a grasp of the detail that's gone into this playset you've got the the doors have got you know like little rivets on them just really nice and it's really strong as well you know the walls are all detailed you know even the back you know it even looks like we got stones on the back we got windows in the cells on the front side and back which is really nice so you can't go far wrong and you can open the doors with your hand as well you don't have to use the the pivot points so let's do a little bit of fun and let's see what's behind the doors and what's behind the doors if he was looking carefully about half a second ago you'll see what was behind the door so with any set like this you can incorporate play-doh into the set itself now I really like the Gotham City the two little gremlins I like to call them on the top of the door there so let's see if we can make a mold out of them because they look fantastic so I'm just play I'm just gonna push the play-doh on. Gonna need quite a quite a fair bit of play-doh. Just a nice enough. Just to get the detail from it. And as you can see, it comes out really well. Really nice. Just a bit of fun. It's just a little idea, something else you can do with this set, just to use your creative look at that one, that one came out fantastic so that's really cool 
And I also really like the Batman light that you get on the left hand side above Batman, which is really cool. So let's put Batman in there. And it's just making sure everything's fine. So yeah guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this set. Let me know if, if you collect this type of play set. Hope everyone's going to have a fantastic day as always. And I'll see you next time.